Hey there, my name is Chris Sagan, and thank you for joining me in another episode of Loving Charleston Life. I'm here to serve the amazing people of Charleston. Today I want to talk a little bit about resale. Uh, a friend of mine I was having a conversation with and she was a real, real estate agent at one point in time and she was telling me this funny story where she was working with these two police officers. They were looking to buy a home, they were husband and wife. and she was showing him this house and she met the husband at the house first and the husband rolled up and was like, oh heck no, this house, my wife's not gonna go in this house. And she was like, well, why not? And he said, the windows, the windows look like Amityville Horror. She's like, she will be totally freaked out. So then the wife pulls up and sure enough, the wife was like not having it. She's like, nope, not even going in this house. This house is, is too freaky for her and um, the Amityville windows turned her off. These are folks, these are police officers that deal with the dredges of society and they were put off by the Amityville windows. Bottom line, Amityville windows equals no sale. So a little bit, let's talk a little bit about resale. And um, as a buyer, when you're looking to purchase, sometimes your immediate needs are more important than your future resale. So things to keep in consideration when purchasing a house, you want to keep in mind the area and proximity. You want to keep in mind the layout and you also want to keep in mind the condition. As far as the neighborhood or proximity to downtown Charleston goes, it's going to be a more desirable area. Homes closer to downtown Charleston are going to be a little bit higher in value, but a little bit more desirable as well. Um, so that's going to maintain value and keep the values going up. The same thing with the beaches, Folly Beach, Sullivan's Island, Isle of Palms. If you move closer to the beaches or in the proximity of the beach, there's going to be a high attractability to homes in that area and therefore drive values up. So just paying attention as to where your home is located and what amenities are offered um, has a direct influence on value. Also layout. Layout is hugely important. You, um, you want to keep in mind, you want your house to be functional. You don't want to have to go through your bedroom to get to the kitchen. That is a dysfunctional layout. So you want to make sure like the house might be bigger, but it might compromise on functionality. So you've got a way out is function, um, which is more valuable, the function or the square footage. And that goes into determining when you're purchasing your house. Um, also conditions. So there are a few things that you can do to create value in your home and you can foresee that as a buyer and as you're living in your home. So a few things to create value, changing out water fixtures, shower heads, do the lighting, fresh paint, new floors, painting cabinet trees. There's so many ways to create value in your home and update your home to get the maximum value when you go to sell. Also, you want an agent that is knowledgeable and experienced, someone that can think quickly and creatively to help guide you through your process to, to make you feel confident moving towards your goals. Um, you want somebody that is going to effectively communicate with all the team players that go into the transaction of buying and selling a home. You want somebody that's able to communicate with the homeowners association, the regimes, the termite inspectors, the inspectors, uh, the appraisers, the lenders, the um, and the cooperating brokers. Also, you want somebody that's also cultivated a team that can support you 100% that have all these players that are acting in your best interest to help move you into your dream home or to help you sell your home. Um, I have been doing real estate. Well, I've been doing real estate for a long time, but my favorite part in real estate is being able to creatively problem solve problem solve and effectively negotiate. Negotiating is probably my favorite thing. I love creating a win-win situation for everyone. Um, also having, you know, I have an amazing team that will support you. I've got 100% support of everyone that I hire and recommend to help get you to your goal with confidence and with ease. Also, I have 23 years of interpreting contracts and drafting addendums and being able to 
enforce the contract or interpret the contract in a way that it makes sense and you understand what's going on and there's never a mystery. You always are in the know as to where we're heading and what timeline we're heading in and no, there's no mystery there. I take the mystery out of that for you. Um, I think my, pr my success, my proof is in my success. I've put over 300 families in homes and I love what I do. I love guiding and directing them in the direction of their goals and their dream homes. Um, so at this point you might be thinking, oh, I need a little bit of guidance. Where, where can I find the value in my home? So if you're in the process or if you have any I, you know, inkling that you might be heading into a move as far as selling your home or looking to purchase, I'm happy to provide the guidance to you. No sales tactics, just full on guidance, no pressure. Feel free to comment below or private message me or you can give me a buzz at 843-270-9399. And again, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Loving Charleston Life. Happy to have you and look forward to doing another one soon. Have a great day.